Hi, I'm Sam from Miss Whiteson's class. And I'm Eamon from Mr. Sperling's class. Today is January 22nd, 2020. Hoy es miércoles el 22 de enero de 2020. Today is a day five. Today's lunch is mini pancakes. Happy birthday to Nathaniel from Miss Layman's class, Jacob from Miss Desimone's class, and Michaela from Miss Anto's class. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your hand on your heart and be good. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. And now for Mr. Hiley. Have a nice day. Good morning, everybody. We don't have a wedding spot wedding, a weather person today. <laughs> So I'm going to make it up. I think it's going to be too cold to go outside. Right now it's sunny, but it's going to be pretty crisp. So check those signs around 1045. Uh, and if we're inside, Mrs. Deli will send an email. Um, I have a quick announcement before Mrs. Estes comes on to talk about science fair. Um, I forgot yesterday to, to announce the goose chase winner. And it's a good thing I didn't do it from memory because I logged in, looked at the leaderboard, and we have a tie for first place. Ooh. Coming from behind was Mrs. Antonelli's <laughs> class, uh, who tied Miss Anto's class. Um, they both had 19,400 points. So we will give them both a pizza party. I will coordinate with your teachers how they want to do that. I should mention in third place, a very close third place, is Mr. Barberi's class um, with 19,000 points. So only 400 behind. Interestingly, it's apparently in alphabetical order. So come on over, Mrs. Estes. What do you have to talk about today? So it's that time of the year again for the science fair. So unfortunately, this announcement is just for fifth graders today. Um, I know some uh, Mr. Dijon is going to be coming to classrooms to talk about the actual science fair, but today is about the t-shirt contest. But so again, that's just for fifth grade. Um, here's the winning design from last year. Um, it was in green. If you notice, it's just one color, um, some very dark, bold lines. Um, in the past, people have included the name of our school um, and that it's the science fair. Sometimes they'll include the year. Um, in all of your teachers' mailboxes today, I will be getting the rules and the um, like shirt, or the um, sheet that you turn in with your final design. Um, it has the rules on there, but just to go over them really quickly, they're all due to me by Monday, February 3rd. It's a little tight this year, but um, to get them in on time, that's going to be the due date. I'm not going to take any later. Um, again, the artwork should be a bold, dark design with just one color. Um, we won't be able to include any more than just one color. The artwork should have to do with science. Uh, make sure it's related to science in some way. Um, and then your artwork should be done like on just a plain sheet of computer paper, white, so that when we send it in to um, be made, it's very clear to put on the t-shirt. So good luck, and we can't wait to see your designs. Um, make it a great day.